So if you are not familiar with how Android 9.0 look and feels, then for this video I am featuring the Pixel Experience ROM which will make your Moto G3 look exactly like the Pixel devices. Please note that VOLTE do not work and video recorder option doesn't work as of now while recording this video, but I am quite sure this will be fixed in a future update. So please check the XDA link provided in the description below before you install the ROM and read the instructions given by the developer. So let us see what we get with this new Android 9.0 Pi. The notifications on the lock screen now have rounded corners just to match the overall UI in the Android 9. Now coming to the home screen, the clock is now moved to the left which was previously at the right on the Android Oreo. The new widget called At A Glance will show you upcoming calendar events, traffic information at the home screen itself so you don't miss any important update. The home settings panel now pops up with a new animation. The home settings now include suggestions which will show you the most recent apps at the top of the app drawer. And swipe left from the home screen to access the Google feed. But the main attraction of Android P is the new recent panel which now somewhat looks like iOS style if not completely similar to iOS. There is also a new navigation gesture which is hidden under settings, gestures and toggle the swipe up on the home screen. This will change the home button to the pill shape icon with a new back button and now we don't get any recent apps button. Swipe half from the home screen to access the recent panel or swipe up again for the app drawer. The home button also works as a slider to see all of your recent apps. To switch between two recent apps, just swipe right from the home button to switch between your two recent apps. You get a clear all button for closing all of your recent apps. And you see the new change in the quick settings panel with these new circular icons. The notification panel also gets a facelift with a more rounded UI applied to it. The settings page now have the colorful icons just like the Samsung one and you can notice the new animations in the Android 9.0 while opening and closing the settings menu. Now adaptive brightness feature will control your brightness automatically according to the surrounding lighting situations. And finally, Google have added the dark theme option which will change the color of the quick settings panel, app drawer and the app actions too. The new battery manager will manage your apps automatically with the help of AI and save you some battery. And to prevent the phone from ringing, you need to press volume up and the power button together to stop ringing. The volume panel is located on the right next to the volume buttons and this will toggle your media volume by default rather than your ringer volume. Tap on the icon to switch from vibrate and DND mode. And you can even press the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon if you like watching this kind of content. One of the new welcome additions to the Android Pay is the digital well-being. This will keep a track of all your app activities and even has a dashboard to store your data like how many times you have unlocked the phone and how many notifications you have received in a certain time. It also gets a wind down feature which will invert the color of the display intentionally to make it look awful so that you can stop using your favorite apps or games like PUBG if you are using it constantly for a longer time.
Turning on the DND mode will pause all of your notifications until you turn off the DND mode. So you won't get any annoying notifications when DND mode is enabled. You can now directly manage all of your app notifications directly from the notifications panel itself. Another feature you get is every time you rotate the screen, you get a new rotation icon popping on the navigation bar to rotate the screen, so that you don't have to worry if your auto rotation is turned off. If you are still wondering how to enable multi-window then press and hold the app icon on the recents app and select multi-screen option. Android Pi also gets a new magnifier when you are sliding through any of the text. Now this comes handy when you are going through small size text or while selecting the text in the browser or any other apps. So these are the major UI changes in Android 9.0 Pi running on my Moto G3 with Pixel Experience ROM. So if you find this video helpful, then share this with your friends, subscribe to my channel for more techie videos. Till then, keep loving your gadgets.